Welcome to the ITSP Magazine Podcast Network, a modern, innovative multimedia platform, broadcasting ideas and connecting minds. Every company has a story to tell, from the small startup to the large enterprise, and everything in between. This is one of them. We hope you enjoy this brand story conversation. Here we are. We're ready for another seven minutes here on ITSP Magazine with a new short brand story. Today, I'm joined by Luke Dash. He's the CEO at ISMS Online, revolutionizing the way businesses across the globe handle data privacy and information security compliance across 100 standards and regulations. With over 25,000 users, ISMS Online empowers organizations to secure and scale their compliance with ease. Sounds really cool, Luke. Thanks for joining Thank you so much for having me, Mark. Sean. <laughs> it's going to be a great conversation. And uh, you, you stay in touch with a lot of folks and obviously to, to help shape what you do for them. And one of the things you do is put together a state of information security report that currently the latest one has over 500 people out of the UK and 1,500 globally. Can you tell me a bit more about uh, that report and maybe some of the initial findings that uh, you want to highlight? Exactly. You know, one of the things that we wanted to do as a business was to provide value about the industry and not just sell services or solutions into that. So we've done this now for two years running. Um, I suppose where I could start with uh, really is is in and around this new topic of deep fakes. I think if you and I were talking 10 years ago, we'll be, we'll be speaking about all sorts of other things, phishing emails, et cetera, et cetera. But now the real, you know, the real hot topic and the big mover has been deep fakes. As I said, we did it 24 months ago. Zero businesses out of 1,500 had experienced deep fake attacks. This year, when we ran it, it was the second highest ranking, with um, you know over 30% in the UK and the US uh, stating that they'd been impacted by that. And it's not just you know your business; it's also the businesses that you work with. So, for example, um, I think almost 80% of businesses have been impacted due to something to do with the supply chain. Or to do with their um, their third party vendors. So it's you know that old saying around uh, you're only as strong as your weakest link is truly important when it comes to information security management. But there's just a couple of kind of snippets from the report. Yeah, and I don't I don't know if you have uh, data to share, but impact means something, right? It's not just I saw something. So an impact, and you talked about third party. Can you shed some light on kind of what what these organizations are experiencing? <clears throat> yeah, so um, ultimately, you know, there's been an all, most of the people that we spoke to within the, port, uh, the report had, in the survey, sorry, had actually received hefty fines of 90% um, for data breaches and violations, whether it be through them or through third parties. So these things have serious ramifications, not just financially, but also from a brand recognition perspective. You know, your brand can be damaged by data leaks and things like that. And we've certainly seen it in the news over the last... 12, 24 months, the damage that that can have on businesses. And so when we talk about trust, I mean, there's working with partners and supply chain and third parties have become uh, an even bigger challenge to get a handle on. Um, how, how do organizations know that they can trust the partners they're working with? Exactly. I think it's becoming more and more prevalent that um, businesses are now taking uh, information security standards or all sorts of ISO standards far more seriously. So actually, if you're working, for example, with anyone uh, in the UK government sector, you will need to have ISO 27001 as a prerequisite standard within your business. You know, if you were looking at manufacturing, you would have to have ISO 9001. So I think that, um, you know, taking a look not just at the services that your um, third party vendors provide, but also how seriously they take their own Governance is a really, really important factor and needs to be put into, you know, the supply chain assessments that people do. And so I think there's a good place for us to talk about some of the things you do at ISMS in terms of yeah. helping organizations get a get a grasp on what's going on and what they need to do. Yeah, and I think, you know, if you break it down into three uh, parts, it's, it's people, process and tools. You know, ultimately, we provide a software which 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 helps people to manage their information security. What we would also encourage businesses investing your people, 
Your people are your assets and they're also your highest risk. So invest in training, development, staff awareness and whatnot as well. Review your processes, make sure that you are constantly reviewing those processes and make sure that the systems and tools that you have in place, for, like for example, an information security management tool are helping you be, remain safe as well as your customers. And so what, what parts of those uh, things does ISMS help with? Yeah, so ISMS ultimately helps with um, the process and tools element. So um, obviously as a system, we uh, provide auditor level guidance for all standards, but really our roots are in 27001, which is the gold information security standard recognized globally. So ultimately what we do is we provide a platform that enables you to stick to the standard and make sure that you're getting guidance because one of the things with information security is it get, can get quite complex. So we try and simplify that for customers to make sure that them and their employees and their staff are actually understanding how to behave and the ways in which to do that. And it's an ongoing process. Continual improvement all the time is critical to businesses within this. Yeah, because I mean, we clearly the business changes, the threats change, the regulations change. Yeah. Um, and the report, as you highlighted, uh, the, the threats are evolving. Right. That deep fakes oh. weren't a thing a couple of years ago. So having your insight into this, um, organizations don't become a statistic in the next report, right? They, they become, they become a beneficiary of the work that you do. Exactly. And I think the thing, the, the misconception previously was it's coming, it's coming, it's coming with regards to things like, deep, well, they're here. They're here now, they're here today, and they're impacting businesses and causing financial and brand pain for, for companies as well. So last uh, bit of time we have here, Luke, uh, anything else you want to highlight from the report and maybe uh, a word on um, how folks can get to it? What I would, what, what I would say is um, businesses should really start to take their information security management seriously. The sector is growing at 40% year on year, which is huge because more and more businesses are realizing and not just the big businesses, all businesses from small to large are realizing your back end needs to be as secure and as, and as important as your front end growing. And that is seven minutes here on ITSP Magazine. Thanks everybody for listening. And Luke, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Sean. Cheers. We hope you enjoyed this episode and that you will come back for more brand stories on ITSP Magazine. If you want to share your company's brand story, go to itspmagazine.com and explore our advertising options to learn more. Remember to share this podcast with your friends, family, and colleagues, and stay tuned for more brand stories as we continue our journey toward redefining cybersecurity, technology, and society.